Hi everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. In this video, I'm going to explain about a transaction code called uh, MI10. Okay. So what is this MI10 transaction? And what is the benefit of this T code? Okay. At a certain time, uh, if the business wanted to adjust the complete, uh, like they, they want to adjust for a certain material and they want to finish that entire process without creating physical inventory document and the enter count and posting. This MI10 transaction will be helpful for completing all these three steps within single step. For example, if you see the physical inventory process, MA01 and MA04 enter count and MA07 for post differences. But if you use that transaction mi10 so mi10 will be like create list of differences without document so you can complete all these steps within one transaction code it's sensitive t code and when you enter the material count in mi10 you have to enter the total count okay so let us check this one and before we go for um, the details let us uh, set up things we are going to check now. What is the current period? Go to MMRB, give the company code. So 012025, it means current period is April 01 and we let's bring to June MMPV. You have to give next period 2025 open and we have to open 03 also so that it will come to june 2025 i'll go to ns mmrv MMRV, give the company code and check here 03 2025 current period. It means 03 plus 3 June 2025. It's matching now. So now in June 2025, we are going to uh, do the activity. Go to MB52. This is the NS12. We are going to check the stock which is available in the material mass for the respective materials in the plant. So we are going to take, let's take it, this material in N0001, the stock is three quantity, okay? So we are going to do the stock count for this, go to MI10, by using MA10, give the plant, document date, posting date, storage location, N0001. And uh, you can give any reference number you wanted to input and click enter. Give the material. In the quantity field, three is available, right? For example, you found two, so you can give five. Okay, five and click on save so if there is any kind of uh, error system will give you this one there is no item category assigned to account 283000 so you can see the error message it's a finance related the online document splitting is active in your system here each document is assigned to accounting transaction variant and each document wrote to an item category. So you determine for each business transaction variant, which item categories can or must be posted here. The following error occurred for the document you entered. No item category could be determined for the GL and the chart of account INT. So assign an item category to the account specified. You do this customizing document splitting via classify GL accounts for document splitting. SAP has given that configuration 
and go here chart of account is int account from this one two three one zero zero two so what was the gl account document splitting we need to give item category needs to be assigned so what was our gl account we can go to ss16n t030 from here we can get it or else let us get from So you can give the INB under GBB chart of accounts INT. Let us check what is the GL account. So valuation grouping code triple zero one. So I think we got this two double three double zero and two eight three double zero. Two double three double three double zero. Two eight three. Two eight three double zero. And save it. Change to customizing cannot. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. So document splitting, we activated in the configuration. In real time, once you get this error message, you have to inform to finance. So under GL account, business transactions, document splitting, classify GL accounts for document splitting. You have to assign a category, whether it is expensive, expenses category, or um, you can see here, right? The categories were given, expenses or material, revenue, fixed asset, what kind of, okay. So we put it under expenses. So go back in real time, you have to inform to finance so that they will do it. So now we are going to repeat the same thing again. MA10, give the plant and storage location, material, quantity five. And save. If there is no error, system will post the document. You can see here, difference is posted under material document 1000573. So let us check this uh, document. Go to MB51, pass the material 600090. Okay, this is our material and posting date 01062025. Once you input this posting date, you can see there is a material document is posted with moment type 701. It's a positive. You can see here the green color positive because three quantity was stock available, but we input five quantity. So system created a material document and it has created a physical inventory document and uh, count posting. All three steps happened within single. The GL account, business area, quantity. So the value was taken from that average value, which was available for the material master. So this is the way how can you use uh, MI10 transaction. Uh, three steps okay uh, to do the any kind of adjustment during the mid of the month and all this t code can be suggested but of course we have to verify with supply chain team and uh, the audit uh, why did they use m8 and directly so where is the physical inventory document who counted okay so generally when you do the physical inventory process we follow the actual process of steps right like i mentioned you can see here First physical inventory document is created, then it will be printed. The printed copy will be given to that workers or operators or whoever worked in that uh, warehouse. And they do the counting. The counting will be given to the office member. Then they count the, they enter the count. So they will check that 
differences after that if there is any differences they will do recount and after recount they again do the entering like once generate the recount document they enter again okay after recount they have to enter count again okay the here recounting will be generated and again enter count finally post differences for all those steps you can do in ma10 uh, so that uh, the supply chain related any audit things why did they use ma10 uh, how to find it okay those kind of a things you can definitely give in the audit purpose okay so you have to explain what is ma10 how do you handle it i hope in this video you learned about a new transaction code called ma10 in place of all uh, creation enter and post all three happen within single step i hope you got an idea how to do it and uh, how to handle and the document uh, like whatever i mentioned right so mi03 MI03 system has created a automatically physical inventory document in the back end. This is how you can uh, observe the material document was created. Okay, adjustment is completed, counting is completed, who created the user ID, all the information we can verify here. The document number 1000. Five seven two. That's it. And uh, physical inventory document information display the MA zero three. And uh, if you want to check for uh, table level also, you can check it. IKPF and ISEC physical inventory document and two thousand twenty five. So that you can check about the the count date and posting date, who created okay, that information. You can get from here or MI24 list of physical inventory document. You can give the material. You don't know the physical inventory document number. And if you know the material, you can give or else plant and storage location so that uh, you will get the list of documents and the status also counted, adjusted. And if you have a lot of data, you can give the count date, approximate count date also we can give the month of June like that. You will get the physical inventory document list. I hope in this video, you learned about the MA10 transaction, how to use it and what kind of benefit and uh, the time saving. And it cannot be used for the monthly actual physical count and all, but if you find any one or two material and uh, you want to adjust, then this transaction can be used. Thanks for watching. And you can uh, share if a video is worth to learn and understand about physical inventory process. Thank you.